Now at 6, surveillance video from inside a South Beach barber shop of a suspected bank robber just before police shot him dead on the street. It's a CBS 4 News exclusive. We're also learning more tonight about the man who was shot. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya begins our live team coverage. She's live outside Miami Beach Police Headquarters. Natalia. Well, Miami-Dade police homicide detectives are investigating the shooting that was committed by a Miami Beach police officer. But at this point, neither department is releasing any information about that officer, including his name or his personnel file. What we are getting a look at, however, is at the moments before this deadly shooting when this man entered a barber shop and armed himself with a razor. Crazy, erratic, agitated. That's how employees inside the Razzle Dazzle Barber Shop in Miami Beach described David Winnesett as he charged around their shop, eluding police who planned to arrest him for a nearby attempted bank robbery. He came into the door and he was he was running. Of course they get scared. As female employees hid in the bathroom, a male employee tried to convince him to leave peacefully. Instead, Winnesett began throwing things, knocking them around. He grabbed a phone, and at one point, he picked up a straight edge razor from one of the barber stations, a move that proved to be deadly. It was a, a blade like this one, it's a regular straight razor. Winnesett waved that razor around and then pointed it at the female officer. That's when one officer tased him, and this one shot him with a high powered rifle. <laughs> He was gesturing like for them to like come at him. It was really fast. Um, I just heard the two gunshots and then I saw him go down and then I saw the cops doing CPR. Staff members at the barber shop say Winnesett told them he'd been in jail for 20 years and that he was never going back. Winnesett was transferred to this halfway house in Little Havana just two days before the shooting. He was serving out the remainder of his prison sentence for a laundry list of charges, including bank robbery here in Florida. An employee here at the halfway house tells me that the folks who are committed here are not allowed to come and go as they please. Police say Winnesett was considered an escapee of that halfway house. The investigation into the deadly shooting continues. And police say at least one of the officers who were involved in this incident was wearing a body camera. So Miami-Dade investigators no doubt will take a look at that footage to see this from the vantage point of those officers. But again, at this point, two days after this deadly shooting, neither department is releasing the officer's name or personnel file. Natal Gazea, CBS 4 News.